Hello and welcome to this, the uh, short video produced by Dr. Andrew Powell Cullingford looking at the benefits and advantages of the new IC elements obturation system. As you can see it looks very similar to our original unit and here we have placing the System B plugger tip into the unit. We have a 360 degree uh, touch unit which is very practical. The big advantage with our new IC model is the 360 degree touch control and of course the induction charging which makes it much more practical in terms of cleaning and therefore a simpler and more predictable unit to work with. Uh, the little probe which applies the GP through the compactor is the same as we had in our original unit and the controls are very similar. Three buttons, very intuitive. Here we can adjust from custom to the gutta perca setting and indeed increase or reduce the temperature. So you can see the flashing light indicates the unit is coming up to full temperature and once it's ready to activate two presses on the 360 degree touch uh, controller will activate the unit. This makes it very easy to operate within the uh, clinical environment and the oral environment and applies a very consistent and acceptable level of obturation through the preheated uh, backfill cartridge. The light flashes to indicate that uh, the unit is activated and there we can see the thermoplasticized gutta perca extruded from the plugger tip. Useful with the new system is a fuel gauge effectively which indicates the approximate percentages for dropping down to 1 and 0 indicating respectively 100%, <clears throat> 75, 50 and 25%. Here you can see as we're retracting it uh, the indicator goes back to 4. Easy removal, be careful the tip is hot and we are ready to put that back into the charging base to continue the charging. Let's look at an obturation now in a plastic block. Here we take the system B tip and assess the length of the canal space having primarily placed the GP cone to length and achieved tug back. This can all be done with hypochlorite in the clinical situation in the canal which adds and improves the level of disinfection and cleaning within the canal space. So we have a matching cone to match the tapered shape we've generated with our TF file systems and we're now ready to adjust our plugger tip. This fits adequately into the space to three to four millimeters from the terminus. We can adjust our rubber stop to determine precisely where that point is, which will be a reference during the downpack phase. The soft steel of the System B plugger tip enables us to adapt to really any curvature within the natural human anatomy. In this clip we're not applying any sealer to see easily where the GP is extruded to. Uh, and now we go for the downpack, having it removed the excess GP. The movement is one continuous wave of condensation applying heat as we do so and as you can see at this high magnification we've generated a good warm condensation of the gutta perca right towards the apical third. <clears throat> Immediately replace or remove the plugger by applying a little heat, a twist and remove the plugger in one gentle movement and then immediately go back in with the Buchanan hand plugger and apply vertical compaction to the GP cone. This enables us to get a really nice three-dimensional fill within the apical tissues but without the risk of over extruding the gutta perca through the apex of the tooth. We now apply the backfill technique. One important feature is to allow the backfill tube to equalize the temperature in the canal so just a couple of seconds to do that and then a slow progressive backfill applying the uh, touch button control and a slow forced exit from the canal space is ideal. Separation from the core of the material and then an immediate vertical compaction with the broader dimensioned Buchanan hand plugger. This clip simply shows how effective the backfill system is at filling uh, some of the more irregular anatomy we may find, for example, in a resorption case or in a very large immature tooth. 
the GP is adequately extruded not only in two dimensions into the apical regions but also laterally uh, between these two perspex plates which gives us a nice feel for how effective the obturation technique is. There is not too much time within which the uh, GP starts to cool so you need to go quickly back into the root system to apply vertical compaction and that reduces the risk of any voids being generated. So a nice, easy and effective three-dimensional alteration. Thank you for watching.